What's going on Super Auto Gamers? We're gonna switch it to hard mode as uh, established in the last one. Um, I kind of think rocking a horse and then the magpie, that makes it a 2-4 for a, a turn. And I think that's like really good. I'd rather have a fish out here right now, but I'll freeze the horse for later. Um, but yeah, we're still on the weekly. As usual, uh, we could be some chunky sausages, you know, like a big, like, horseshoe, whatever it's called, like smoked sausage, maybe a little cheddar stuffed, it could be quite delicious. That is, you know, that's not too bad. A draw is fine. Um, but let's get, before we do anything, let's get the horse. And then I think we do fish. Combine the fish, and then we freeze the ant, roll, freeze the horse, buy an ant, something, something like this. Oh, egg, egg is pretty good early game. Oh my god, dude, the car outside revving so hard. Egg is kind of killer early game um, in most weeklies, or at least it was the last time I played the weekly. But we're gonna draw again, which is totally fine, considering we're about to get our first uh, the curse, debuff, whatever you want to call it. Um, wow. Okay, well I think we're fine going with the piggy bank for now, because our buys are pretty set in stone right now. I think I want to do it, well I want to do it like this, so we can get one extra stat point this round. Combine them. An Osprey is good. It's good for this build. We can only buy one more thing this round, unfortunately, unless we sell. Um, which, honestly, I could be persuaded to sell the Magpie, because we haven't gotten any value out of it since turn one. Um, and I think right now, with our limited funds, we'll get an Ant. Or one Ant. If, in case they have an Egg up front, we'll keep the 2-1 Ant behind, because the Egg is still kind of relevant for this early game. Uh, he's not going to buy it, and that kind of stinks that our buffed ant got sniped, but we're still going to come out on top here. Which is fine. The horse is actually making a little bit of a comeback in my head. I mean, the horse used to be kind of doo-doo, but not, not now. Alright, a leech is kind of amazing, and I think we kind of have to go for it. So I think we'll put the leech here. He'll start, he'll start, you know, leeching. I don't think we want to stilt. Wow. <sighs> what build? Oh yeah, slug with the horse is good. Wolf with the horse is good. Even eagle with this. I think we'll freeze the whole dang shop. And yeah. We'll go for a leech horse build. The leech is just to like stabilize, so maybe if we get a camel along the along the somewhere along down the line. Okay. Egg is kinda inconsequential, but we're gonna lose out on so many stats because they knocked our horse around. That's okay, I think their squad was much better than ours. Um I'd rather have the pen, honestly. Just less attack damage, but that's fine. Okay. Got a Leech and Osprey from Tier 3. Both pretty good benefit from... Okay. Let's just just, just do, our, do our easy buys. Freeze a Lettuce. Lettuce is pretty good for us. Our stats are kind of evened out. Um... Man, that ink does... it does suck. This dude's got a level 3 10 10 guinea pig? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> um, not a fan of how that shook out. But we can get a level here. And a slug is really good. Slug is very good. Um, I think we'll put a point onto you, but I think we gotta sell the fish here. 
And the fish lets us buy the slug and buy the lettuce, which is super nice. And I think I want the leech to start sucking on the ant. That just sounds so wrong, but um, purely because the ant is the next unit to go. So, yeah. The osprey can also go, but he's got more stats than the ant. Okay. Our, our weakness isn't actually hurting us too badly. But that's okay. We win because of our 1-1 one, one trumpet. Our 1-1 one, one golden actually saving us there. Oh. God. The dodgeball would hit our ant and then our slug. So we would start, which is honestly not that bad. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I think I'll try it. I've always been too afraid to take the dodgeball. But with the way things are shaking out, I think it could work. And a camel is kind of really what we want to see. Although we want our ant to absorb the blow. I think the slug getting hit twice is almost inconsequential compared to the stat gain that we're going to get from the camel leech here. A cupcake would give you a buffer, but I don't think it's enough. And we don't really have anybody we're willing to get rid of yet to plug in the frigate bird. I don't know. I think I'm just rolling for some dupes. Slug is good. That is great. Yeah, we'll roll it like that. Oh, you could kill the camel now with the dodgeball. It's okay. It... Okay, well, it definitely will... Okay, it does it kind of, like, simultaneously, which is, um, horrible. We were close. We were close. But, um... We're, we're really out here fighting. <laughs> You're gonna go down to 6 HP. And there's nothing we can do about it. Giving the fortune cookie to you is probably good. Oh, the sleepy boy. Oh, he's just a little baby. Hello. Okay. Sorry for disturbing you, Muffin. That was, um, horrible to get run over by a rhino like that. That is even... Oh my god! Oh! It's not what you want to see. I think we gotta go back to dodgeball because we've got a whole summoned squad. Bird of Paradise. There's something to say about getting rid of the Osprey. I'll keep you frozen for a second here. That's kind of nice. And I think I've never taken the tapir before, but you're just going to faint and summon a unit, which is fine, I guess. What would you hit? Ah, just the tapir. Nah, no lettuce required. Well, the camel's going to faint, so it'll be camel and the tapir painting. I need some like... Okay, that's good that we got the slug. Actually, quite like life saving. We really need to see a wolf here soon. We're gonna come out with a draw, which is insane. Insane. I think an eagle might be good. Ah, the tapir. 
is good. I think, yeah, I think we just get rid of the camel. And go eagle. Forget you. And we're just going full, okay. That would actually help quite a bit. Full summon build. I could put you back here. No, because I want the tapir to not summon a leech. Um... I think it has to roll like this. We're missing out on like a stat point, but I guess that's pretty inconsequential. The lemon makes up for it, kind of. Yeah. The tapir fainting, now I realize the order doesn't matter. The stegosaurus would be good if we were getting the benefit from it. But we're actually, <laughs> we're gonna get another draw. Oh lord. Okay, the boot is unusable, so we gotta take the unicycle. Okay. I am willing to bet on a tapir for no reason. A wolf also? Maybe if we ditch the horse and go full. No, we'd have to ditch like the leech and go full summon. But we just, we don't want you to hit the horse at all. It's only a three attack benefit. And it's a one third chance for the tapir to summon a level two horse, which would suck. It's tough. But I think we gotta roll it like this. And the tapir summoning any of these as a level 2 is kind of awesome. Yeah. And then we replace the leech with... I, I really don't know. Maybe the leech just stays for a little bit. Because he's kind of like a... Unless we get like something really good, but the leech kind of ran through their whole squad. Any form of like rhino or really anything decimates us. So we just have to hope that nobody decides to run a rhino. <laughs> it, it, we need like a shark or something. Like. What, even a fly? That doesn't really help us much. I love the eagle. But, dang, yeah, Lemon Macaque would be pretty sick. But not that's not this build. I wish it was this build, but that's not this build. The Luga would probably be better than the Leech, but we need it to eat something like a squirrel. Okay, wait. Six gold. We couldn't get the Beluga Whale to eat. The scorpion yet. But I think it's okay because him eating the armadillo is fine for right now. We just want him to eat the scorpion next turn. It's a little bit of a weird pivot, but I think we need to do it so we don't. Oh my god, that's too many stats. It's over. <laughs> If we had like two sharks on the squad, we would be fine, but I'm not seeing a wind shake out of this one. Honestly, we got pretty close, but not, <laughs> not quite there. Maybe if the tapir summoned, I mean, it, it was kind of a random chance squad. But yeah, that just goes to show that hard mode is still indeed hard. We can go from getting the easiest 10 win and 9 win of our lives to then struggling to get 3. But that's just the way the name of the game. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to support our aspirations to become the two best trapeze artists in Tennessee.